Welcome to this year's presentation of the American Institute of Steel Construction and National Steel Bridge Alliance's Prize Bridge Awards, recognizing innovative design in engineering bridges using structural steel. The Prize Bridge Awards are the highest honor the U.S. structural steel industry bestows upon steel bridge projects around the country. Nineteen outstanding projects in nine categories have been selected to receive the 2020 Prize Bridge Awards. Let's start with major span projects. AISC and NSBA present the national award in this category to the Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge in New York. The Mario Cuomo Bridge is the largest and most significant steel structure that's been built in the United States in decades. A bridge like that is only possible because of the unique long span capabilities of steel structures. The Broadway Bridge over the Arkansas River wins a Merit Award. Judge Richard Marchone commended the project's ability to minimize the disruption of traffic. He used low drill equipment to be able to install the foundation below the bridge while the traffic was still on it and allowed for the new arches to be constructed adjacent to the bridge off-site and floated in the, into place. We also present a Merit Award in this category to the Portageville Bridge Replacement in New York. Portageville Bridge was a, a unique bridge replacement. That type of bridge hasn't been built in nearly 100 years. It was a great solution and it was environmentally sensitive and aesthetically pleasing. The National Prize Bridge Award in the category of long span bridges goes to the Manning Crevice Bridge near Riggins, Idaho. A lovely bridge, it's a nice cable state bridge. And in the context of its site, it's a difficult site to get to. There's so many complexities involved, but at the end of the day, it looks like it just fits. The Pfeiffer Canyon Bridge in Big Sur, California earns the Merit Award in the same category. This bridge reconnected a California community after a landslide damaged a concrete bridge across narrow mountainous terrain beyond repair. So much so that food and fuel were brought in by helicopter. Judge Shane Coleman described the bridge as a success story for emergency bridge replacement. We continue our Prize Bridge Awards presentation with the National Award for Medium Span, the Grand Avenue Bridge in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. This bridge did well within the environment it was placed with a park underneath and the way they used the steel superstructure and transitioned into a concrete cantilever was really unique. The Merit Award in this category goes to the Williams Creek Shoop Bridge in Salmon, Idaho. Judge Rob Richardson said the Matrix Arch Bridge beautifully enhanced the site. The span is a medium span, not something you necessarily expect to see a matrix arch in, but with the constraints that they had in the roadway, it allowed them to have a nice thin deck, and that way they didn't have to do a lot of work on the approaches. And it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a really nice bridge. Contextually, it fits very well on the site. AISC and NSBA present the National Award for Short Span Bridges to Philadelphia's Vine Street Expressway I-676 Bridge Reconstruction Project, 18th to 22nd Streets. Vine Street Expressway bridge replacement projects are an example that sometimes a bridge replacement is much more than a bridge replacement. Replacement of these bridges enhances the entire streetscape for multiple city blocks in the City of Philadelphia's Museum District. Anchor Bay Drive in Michigan wins the Merit Award for Short Span Bridges. Judge Dennis Golubek commends the project for its efficient, economical design and clean details. The Sarah Mildred Long Bridge between Maine and New Hampshire wins the National Award for Movable Spans. Judge Richard Marchone particularly liked the bridge design for its low disruption of traffic on a daily basis. The bridge has split level approach spans, but a single lift span in the middle that can land for either highway traffic or rail traffic, which minimizes the number of openings for the bridge. The Merit Award for Movable Spans goes to the Bayou Sarah Swing Bridge in Mobile County, Alabama. Bayou Sarah Swing Bridge replacement is an outstanding example of collaboration between the owner, the designer, and the contractor. When a 90-year-old swing bridge had to be replaced, the only solution was steel. Collaboration resulted in this bridge being replaced in only 14 hours. The National Award winner for special purpose is the Francis Appleton Pedestrian Bridge in Boston. 
The Appleton Pedestrian Bridge in Boston over Starrow Drive provides a unique, beautiful solution in the urban landscape right along the Boston waterfront that will provide many years of enjoyment for the people of Boston. The 41st Street Pedestrian Bridge in Chicago wins a merit award in the same category. Judge Shane Coleman notes the new bridge replacement was a unique solution for the crossing. The aesthetically pleasing bridge came in under budget and ahead of schedule. We also present a merit award to the East Shore Bridge in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. It's interesting because the steel doesn't really stand out in the bridge, but this bridge is only possible through steel. The site is very difficult to get to. It's off the side of a hill. And by marrying the bridge substructure and support system with FRP deck, you know, very lightweight, they're able to achieve something that almost is invisible. The National Award for Reconstruction New Structure on an Existing Alignment goes to the BNSF Wind River Bridge in Skamania County, Washington. The Prize Bridge Jury recognizes the project for overcoming a challenging construction process, floating the trusses into place. Judge Shane Coleman also noted that its use of weathering steel will provide a long-lasting service life. AISC and NSBA present a merit award for reconstruction to the I-240 MEMFIX-4 project in Memphis. Four bridges used the innovative accelerated bridge construction process requiring short-term total road closures, allowing crews to work around the clock. Using this process sped up the project, completing it in months instead of years. The reconstruction provides a safer commute for the 50,000 vehicles that travel it every day. A sister bridge to the 6th Street Bridge that won the first prize bridge award in 1928, the Andy Warhol 7th Street Bridge in Pittsburgh wins this year's National Award for Rehabilitation. Existing structure and primary members remain in use. One of the things that I think is so important is that we do work to preserve our infrastructure, um, and especially when it's an iconic bridge like this. I mean, we're talking about one of a handful of self-anchored, you know, cable-supported bridges in the U.S., even though it does have a twin that's right up the river. But it's just kind of one of those things that I think it's very important that we, we take that very seriously. This project was a beautiful example of keeping something like that, not only there for its visual appeal, but it functions as well. We present the Merit Award for Rehabilitation to the Winona Bridge in Minnesota. It's a complex historic truss bridge that required incorporation of some internal redundancy to both rehab and strengthen the bridge, but more importantly, reduce the non-redundancy of the bridge and allow the state to take it off of the fracture critical bridge list. Originally constructed in 1928, the special award for resilience goes to the Liberty Bridge in Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, there was a fire that was caught underneath the bridge that melted some of the steel there. And so it got this special award because of how it still withheld its load and did not fail and that they could fix it in place and just showed how superior steel is to some other materials. And that's why this deserved a special recognition. 19 outstanding projects in nine categories have been selected to receive the 2020 Prize Bridge Awards. Please join us in congratulating them on their remarkable achievements. AISC would also like to thank the 2020 Prize Bridge Awards judges for their time and enthusiasm. To find more information about the winners, please visit AISC.org slash PrizeBridge. The Prize Bridge Awards will return in 2022.